Hey guys, so today I want to talk about video marketing, the benefits of it, and some cool little apps that are going to help you with your video marketing as well. So first off, video marketing is something I've done personally for a number of years now. Started off doing webinars, I've done podcasts, I've done tutorial videos, I've done a whole bunch of stuff, and for me, getting in front of people's eyes is massively important. Now, me personally, I'm not really a big reader. I love video content. That's the type of content I personally want to consume. And there's millions of people out there who would much prefer to consume video content. Now, social media posts, for example, with a video is likely to get 48% more engagement and 64% of people are more likely to make a purchase after watching some videos. So I want to talk to you about the SEMrush Video Creator Pack. This is a landing page. Get your videos ranking at the top of the search results. And here is how you can become a YouTube star faster with these video marketing tools. So we've got keyword analytics for YouTube, which is amazing. Create videos from start to finish, all in one place. So you've got a platform where you can record, edit, and host your videos, generate, enhance, and repurpose your existing text into engaging videos using AI. And you can also host webinars and online events by live streaming like a pro on the multiple channels that are out there. The biggest thing here is step three, rank tracker for YouTube. How many of you want to know where you rank and if your video and your content are actually being engaged with? So I'm going to walk you through how these tools work. So the first of the three parts of this, we're going to look at keyword analytics for YouTube. So I'm just going to go to the app. Now this is free to try out for seven days and then it's 10 pounds a month for this specific app. Now we can do keyword research here. We can find fast growing keywords and we can look at the most popular videos on YouTube. So we'll click get started. Now, of course, top right hand corner, we can select a region if we want to look at country specific or we can have it on all regions. This is the top keywords. Now, it's just, we've not put anything in, so it's given us some random stuff there, but it's showing you the search volume, the competitive rate. Now, of course, 99 out of 100 is something that is going to be competitive. Search volume-wise, something like Mr. Beast, 2.3 million people a month are searching for him, and of course, a competitive rate of 90 out of 100, which we would fully expect, given he's one of the most well-known YouTubers out there. Now, on top of this, we can also look at fast-growing keywords. What is a hot topic right now in the niche that you work in? Now, you'll see the little search bar here where we can input our own information and see what is going on in the niches that we work in. And of course, most viewed videos it just gives you an idea of what is working in what country and there's pages and pages and pages of this stuff and you'll be able to see the weekend music people are searching for the top five keyword for this particular video is music and that's bringing a lot of traffic to that video now obviously you can look at these and scroll through the top performing videos and see what type of keywords are being used to drive traffic to those videos. That's really important, but we're going to go back a step and look at the top keywords. So for example, if I put in Peppa Pig, purely because my son plays that all day, every day, and we'll just put it in and see what happens. Now, the keyword Peppa Pig and all of the other alternative keywords there, it shows you the search volume, the competitive rate, and of course, some related keywords here as well. Now we can see that it's 67 out of 100, which is medium competition, and the search volume is 54,000. 
So, although that's saying low, that's still quite a lot of traffic. So, it's not quite 10 million. And of course, if we could get 10 million more than 54,000, then great. But it's really important that you do make sure that you promote the keywords that people are searching for whilst doing your video marketing. Now, we can also put in, I don't know, football as another random example. We can see some football-related keywords here. Uh, ultimate football. Now, we can mess around and do English football, Spanish football, whatever it may be. But football in general, not overly competitive. And you can see the kind of different search volumes there. So you can mess around with this little search functionality and you can do your keyword research prior to making your video content. Now, once you've done your videos, put them out there, you want to track the rankings. So I'm going to talk a bit about the rank tracker for YouTube. So let's have a quick look at what goes on. So, source, YouTube, location, global, keywords available. You can obviously buy more keywords here and you can see what the average rank is of your videos and what keywords are going up and down. Because like SEO, you want to make sure that if you're using video marketing and you're trying to get leverage in YouTube, you want to keep an eye on what's going on. Now, you can see for terms uh, that are out there, CTR manipulation, rank seven, old video, 5,400 search volume. Now, I've put in a whole bunch of stuff there and based on videos that I've put out over the years and you'll be able to see some of them don't get any search volume because I didn't do my research at the time because cool tools like this were not available. Um, I was basically just putting stuff out there and hoping for the best but you want to use data to make sure you can do it quicker, faster and much better than I did. Uh, but you can see that I did hit stuff that did have search volume as well. Now, I've only put in 19 keywords here just as a random example. Now, you'll be able to see where the rank, the changes in those ranks, and of course, the monthly search volume here. Whether that be SEO content brief, whether that be local landing pages, server log analysis, CTR manipulation, agency assassin review, local GBP tips, whatever it may be, I am putting content out there and hoping that someone stumbles across it. Now, of course that can happen because you've got X amount of subscribers. You can obviously drive people in through your social media and everything else. But primarily, if someone goes onto YouTube and searches for something, that is where you want to be. So make sure you track it. Very simple and very easy. If you want to add some keywords, you can add one per line, import keywords, job done. Now, you can also export the information if you wanted to report on that stuff or whatever you may want to do with it. You may want to relay it to your team and get them working on anything that drops be, be, you know, below a certain position. So the rank tracker is very simple and very easy to use. And we've all been looking for one that does YouTube accurately. And last but not least, the video marketing platform that's on here. So let's have a deep dive into what you can do. Now, you've got this clean, tidy project page. You've got live streams and recordings, uploads, if you want to upload some of your files, and you've also got templates, which is always going to help anyone who wants to take advantage of the stuff that's been laid on here. So you can have amazing lower thirds where the guest name and title goes. You can have Facebook video templates, Instagram video templates, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and so on. Now, 
you can browse these image templates by clicking the buttons here, ads and promo, uh, promo, industries, trending topics, zoom backgrounds, all of that kind of stuff. So what happens if I just randomly click on travel vlog? I can have this here as a template. Now, that is all up to you if you want to have or use those different templates. So there's a lot of functionality in here, but first and foremost, how do we create a project? You go in, create uh, a video with AI from a blog post. You can use the templates, stock assets, or you can generate a text video, or you can simply do a video recording entirely up to you. So I'm going to quickly just take a blog post and let's see what happens. So I'm going to take this blog post, I've copied and pasted the URL, and I'm going to paste the link in here, and we are going to desired, let's see, I'm, I'm going to make a three minute video, right? Um, and click next. Do we want this um, to be in horizontal format, square, vertical, story i'll just go for horizontal um so i'm gonna let it do its thing and we'll see what comes up so let's go so it has done its thing it has done everything at that push of a button now of course i can go in and edit change the colors do what i like using the right hand side over here and of course we can see what it's done quickly scroll through and see what exactly it's done verifying uh, stuff choosing a building within a space so it has used the eye to create a video very quickly and very easily so just wanted to share that part with you because i haven't used it before and wanted to check that little feature out now as i say You've got various different options here. You can deep dive into this. And again, you can try it for free. Now, a lot of you will do live streams, podcasts, webinars, and that type of thing. Now, we can set up a new recording. So I'm just going to click new recording. Do we want it to be advanced and give us more options? Or do we want it to be very simple? I'm going to click advanced just because... I like making things difficult um, but again you can see the options that are here all of the kind of stuff i can add another camera i can invite people i can show slides i can see comments all of the usual stuff that you would want now i can simply click start recording and go straight away and i can obviously put a, a 30 second countdown timer if I wanted to, or whatever it may be. So I can start recording, I can upload backgrounds, I can have myself, I could have two people, I could have three people here. We can do everything that we can on any other video marketing platform. And of course, there is other settings here where you can use different cameras and all of the usual stuff. So a really good, simple and easy way to stream out to your channels now what else can we dig up in here now if you do decide to upload one of your own videos on here you can upload whatever videos you want and you can embed them and play them through the same rush platform so bear that in mind as well you can obviously create a landing page you can see the player um so again landing page you can copy the link put that in there and we can see the landing page for the video if you wanted to send people over to the video and of course you can have a headline text you can even add in call to action such as a sign up button logo theme and any tracking so that is important the embed is important 
you can even have your videos password protected email campaign um, you can copy the codes and all that kind of stuff and embed it into your email campaign you've also got analytics if you want to see what's going on with the video and who is watching it and all of that good stuff there as well so that is something that again is also a really good feature if you want somewhere to to host these videos now i have also uploaded a video here which is just the same rush one that i'm doing just now so you can store your videos here just upload them there keep them store them whatever for anyone doing youtube you literally have all of the tools available within SEMrush using those three apps to perform well on YouTube. If you want to try it out, you can try it out for free using the link below and see what you can do and try and grow your YouTube channel and take advantage of video marketing today.